It's the great pleasure for us to interview Professor Jean Luis Guéan from the University of Nancy. He is a head of the Department of Molecular and Personalized Medicine, and we are going to discuss uh, a recently uh, published paper in the Allergy Journal that is called Genetic Variants Associated with Drug Induced Hypersensitivity Reactions. So uh, the first question we would like to discuss with you is what uh, is the current applicability of genetic polymorphisms in the diagnosis of drug hypersensitivity reactions? Yes, th thank you uh, for giving me this opportunity to, to deliver this message. It was uh, a paper from the task force of genetic determinants of the Yaki. Uh, I would like to say that in this paper we have concluded that uh, there is not enough uh, replicated studies on genetic determinants and that there are very few uh, GWAS studies, so there is a need uh, really for additional works to be done. Uh, we have actually uh, several genes which are very uh, clearly and carefully uh, uh, studied and evaluated in replication studies. For instance, IL4 array, which is closely connected to Ig production and atopy. We have also uh, this galactin free uh, gene, which is connected um, to, uh, let's say, the, um, the, the membrane. Uh, uh, conformation of uh, the IgE receptor on which can be considered of, of, of also as an IgE receptor. We have also uh, genes uh, related to inflammation on atopy like NOT2 and uh, finally in a GWA study we demonstrated also that the antigen presentation is very important for beta-lactam allergy uh, with uh, the HLA-DRA uh, polymorphisms. So I would say that uh, it is too soon uh, to design, but it should be a perspective to design a panel of, of genetic predictors. Uh, these genetic predictors should be designed according uh, uh, to the region uh, which has to be considered. For instance, uh, there are closed interactions between genetic predictors and the environment. So it may be expected like la than, uh, that uh, in China. Uh, the situation is not comparable to the situation in Malaga. Uh, and uh, you know, for instance, that for HLA-DRA, uh, the genetic polymorphisms that we have uh, uh, evidenced are also uh, related to uh, antigen presentation of uh, environmental uh, prevalent uh, allergens like mite and so on. And this may explain uh, the variability of uh, the prevalence of bidadactam uh, allergy worldwide. And as everybody knows, uh, there is a hot spot in the south of Spain, but there is also a hot spot uh, for mite and the occupational allergy in the south of Spain. So this is a line uh, of research uh, which uh, should be uh, investigated. And uh, as, uh, uh, as I explained, uh, the main interest actually for making or for studying genetic predictors is to look for mechanisms, uh, to look for interactions, and uh, to produce new hypotheses in this field of research. Thank you very much. And uh, what kind of approaches do you think, uh, in addition to classic candidate genes and genome-wide uh, association studies, uh, will be helpful for dissecting the underlying mechanisms of drug hypersensitivity reactions? As you know, uh, in the literature there are now uh, a huge amount of works uh, which have been uh, made with uh, GWAS studies for complex diseases, for instance diabetes. Uh, obesity-related diseases, inflammatory diseases, and uh, the results have been uh, somewhat, uh, somewhat disappointing because uh, uh, they have uh, identified predictors with uh, low, uh, I would say, uh, risk prediction. Um, concerning allergy, uh, we are just now starting making GWAS, but uh, looking at what has been produced, we may expect uh, that for uh, this kind of approach we will uh, identify low, predict low risk predictors in large population. Okay. Um, there are other uh, aspects to be considered. I it is the inheritance of uh, drug allergy. 
Um, for immediate type allergy, there are very uh, few uh, works which have uh, been made on this aspect. Uh, I think that we should look at families uh, in which uh, uh, we can find a higher risk that in the re general population and to make uh, new generation sequencing, systematic new generation sequencing, uh, to look for rare variants. Uh, and uh, I may uh, expect that these rare variants uh, will be associated with a much higher risk than in a general population uh, through a GWAS classical strategy. And finally, <coughs> considering the variability among human populations, what type of international efforts do you consider should be held by the scientific community to integrate data from different studies and ethnic groups? This is a very important point because when you consider uh, genetic predictors, you really have to consider the environment. As I explained, for the work we have published uh, concerning the GWAS on beta-lactam allergy, uh, we found that uh, it was uh, related or it was associated to a HLA-DRA. And uh, in the literature, uh, people uh, have found also that uh, in this uh, uh, region there are also predictors, for instance, for mite allergy. So one should consider contrasted population according to contr contrasted uh, exposure to environment. But the other aspect is also uh, the allele variability, which is extremely huge in the populations worldwide. Uh, several gene predictors are very rare, for instance, in, in Asia, uh, and uh, much more frequent in uh, European and Western populations. So uh, according to these two aspects, it will be extremely interesting to compare contrasted population from both the environment aspect and uh, the allele frequency aspect. And uh, this uh, will be very helpful if we want to go uh, deeper in mechanisms uh, in relation to this aspect, but also if we want to uh, design personal medicine approach which should be uh, adapted to each population set, uh, and not only uh, uh, panels for the, 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 the whole population worldwide, which, is, uh, uh, w which cannot uh, work really. Thank you very much uh, for taking the time to discuss uh, this interesting topic with us here in the in the co context of the drug hypersensitivity meeting in Malaga. Thank you very much. Yeah.